Today we're going to install the Bison 82 inch plow. Now this will fit into a front facing or rear facing two inch hitch receiver. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is start off at our front receiver hitch. Now, this is our interceptor. Typically, it's gonna go in like this on a lot of things like SUVs and all that. Um, however, this truck's high enough up that in order to get the push frame low enough, we need to turn this receiver hitch upside down uh, to, to be able to attach properly. So if we're gonna do that, we also wanna go ahead and slide our collar off, turn it upside down so that we can still access um, the Allen nut at the bottom so we can tighten it up later. We're just gonna slide that in. Once we got it slid in place, we're gonna put our hitch pin. And just like so. Okay, now this is our push frame. What we wanna do is align this push frame to where the uprights are facing away from the truck and uh, the frame uh, is gonna go up against our interceptor. What we're gonna do is take our provided bolts with washers, run all four of them into these holes. Next, we're gonna lift it up and install it into these holes on the interceptor. Now, I'm selecting these holes because this is gonna put the bottom of my push frame six to eight inches above the ground. Next, just to hold this in place, we're gonna go ahead and install uh, our flat washers and then loosely install uh, the provided nuts. Next, we need to make sure that this is going to be plumb. So what we're gonna do is attach a level uh, to the upright on the push frame and push it up against uh, the interceptor. Now we're gonna take a look and that bubble is further away. So this, this needs to come out this way. So we're gonna need to attach some shims uh, to the front. Now, if this was actually leaned towards the truck, we would need to put the shims on the bottom just to correct that angle. So. Let's, uh, let's try one shim first, and that does not correct it enough, so I'm going to add the second shim, and there we go. We're pretty much dead on the money. That is close enough, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, tightening that down. All right, now I'm going to use a three-quarter inch wrench and ratchet um, and start just getting that snug. Uh, I don't want to tighten it down completely just yet because I still also need to adjust the level uh, of, the, of the frame as well. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and slide the collar all the way up to the receiver. I'm going to take my 3 16 Allen wrench and we're going to tighten that down. Get that nice and snug and snug this down uh, nice and level and then we're going to tighten it down to 90 foot pounds.
Okay, now here's our, our rubber blade. Uh, we've got a couple of spots here and then down here that are marked from the manufacturer. Uh, what we need to do is we need to actually make holes uh, with a 5 16 drill bit right there. Uh, these bolts are going to go down through those holes. Uh, this is going to go on the back side. Uh, then we're going to uh, put the flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the back side of that. We're going to do that on both sides. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these both down with the 7 16 I'm going to repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now we want to make sure this is nice room temperature while we're doing all this, so this might be a good excuse to run inside and do this. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to get a little bit of dish soap and, uh, and some water and we're going to lubricate these surfaces here so that everything slides in nice and easy. And next we just go ahead and feed it in. All right, so next what I'm going to do is rotate the plow up. Now, I'm going to notice here we got a little track running side to side on the top of the plow. Uh, we're going to locate the square nuts that we have in the kit. It's got a beveled edge on one side and a square edge on the other side. Square edge has got to be up. We're going to insert two of them on this side and slide them over to about here, somewhere around there, and uh, two of them on this side over here and slide them over. Next, we're going to take these brackets here and line them up on top of the track. We're going to take a flat washer and a provided bolt, go down through and just kind of get it attached to that nut. We don't want to tighten it down just yet at this time. We're going to do that on both sides. So that we can still slide it back and forth. Right next, we're going to go ahead and rotate the plow face down, and we're going to see that these will line up to some spots that are marked from the factory. Make sure that we can get them lined up, and we're going to drill with our 5 16 drill bit through those holes. Now, we only want to go about an inch deep. We don't want to go all the way through the plow. So what that's going to do is that's going to, that's going to get us through the aluminum uh, part of the plow, go all the way through uh, our plow blade, and then it's going to hit the other side of the aluminum. Once you hit the other aluminum, stop there. That's as far as you need to go. And go ahead and do that to all the marked locations.
All right, next what we want to do with each of these holes is we're going to take our self-tapping bolts that are included with the kit. Uh, we're going to use a 9 16 socket, line that up and allow it to just kind of start cutting threads into the aluminum. Do that with both holes. Once we have a thread cut all the way in there, we're going to go ahead and remove both of those bolts, slide the bracket in place, and put the bolts into the freshly cut threads. All right, so now if you go to the very ends of the plow, you're gonna have the same types of marks. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing, drill them out, tap the holes with the bolts. We just don't have a bracket to put in place on that. Do the exact same thing to the other side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and rotate the plow back up. We're going to tighten down the brackets at the top, also using the 9 16 All right, next, what we're going to do is go ahead and lift up the plow. We're going to set it onto the push frame. Right now we're going to go ahead and put in our quick pins. They just kind of slide in and whenever they pull against each other, they lock themselves into place. All right, next we're going to go ahead and install our plow markers on each side. You go to the edge of the plow, we're going to find one of our square shaped nuts. Again, the beveled edge goes to the uh, downside and the square edge goes to the top. We're going to insert that in place. Now before we just put this plow marker in, we're going to take our flange nut and we're going to thread it up the plow marker. We're going to go down through and get that snugged up. Once it's kind of in there nice and snug, we're going to move our jam nut down to the plow and with a 9 16 we're going to tighten that down. Do that on both sides. Now to use the plow is very simple. You just turn the pins, pull them out of place. You lift the plow up over top of the frame and then drop it down. Once you put the pins back in place, now you're ready to go push some snow around. Well that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.